We now show you some tips to look for if you can't achieve a connection between the Phrase Express client and the SQL server. We are now on the server computer and it's useful to have these programs available. It's a free Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, which is a free download, and the SQL Server Configuration Manager, which comes with an SQL Server installation by default. Uh, let's start with this one. And a good first step would be to check if the server service is actually running. So select SQL Server Services. And here it's a, a SQL Server and it should be running under state. If it doesn't run, right click and select start. Then you would need to check if the TCP IP protocol is enabled. Go to native client 11 configuration, client protocols and check if TCP IP is enabled. If not, right click the item and select enable. Same goes for the 64-bit instance, client protocols, TCP IP must be enabled and also under server network configuration, protocol for SQL Express, TCP IP must be enabled. Now let's check which port is being used. Right click and select properties. Switch to IP addresses. Now check the adapter which connects to the workstations and make sure the dynamic port is disabled and the TCP port is set to 1433, which is a default port. And also scroll down and there you see IP all. And again, TCP dynamic ports must be empty. It's not disabled if there is a zero. For a strange reason, Microsoft decided it has to be empty to be disabled. And as I said, make sure that TCP port 1433 is configured, which is a default port for SQL Server. If there's another port, please check with your IT administration if you can change it. If you can change it, you cannot use Phrase Express for Mac because it uh, insists using uh, this default port. And if you are using uh, Phrase Express for Windows only, you would need to configure the firewall and we will show you now how to set a firewall rule. By the way, if you make any change to the TCP protocol, you need to restart the SQL Server um, service. So there will be a little downtime. Now let's go to the Windows firewall or you have to use the firewall installed on your computer. We refer to the Defender Firewall, which comes with Windows. Go to Advanced Settings and check the inbound rules. And make sure there's a rule for the SQL Server. This rule will be configured with our Phrase Express SQL Client Manager, unless you uh, disabled this option. But you can also add this rule here. Let's check the properties. Go to Protocols and Ports, and here you can see TCP and the specific port uh, 1433. If in the SQL Server configuration there's another port uh, configured, you would need to update this to the actual port being used by the SQL Server. If there is no such rule, click here, New Rule, and follow the on-screen instructions. For example, you can select it for the specific port, TCP, then the, the port you have selected, let's check. Then you can make your proper selection here and click finish. And here you can see the rule just created. There you go. Now let's run the SQL Server Management Studio. If you don't have this on the server computer, you can download this for free. Now we log in to the server. First, right click the root item and select properties. Go to security. And here it's essentially important if you use Phrase Express for Mac that the server authentication is set to SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. Then switch to security, logins, and check if the Phrase Express client manager was able to set the special users PEX SQL admin and PEX client Phrase Express SQL. If you don't find them, start over with the Phrase Express Client Manager configuration. On the client, check if the SQL native client is installed. Press the Windows key and type in ODBC. This gives you the ODBC data sources program. There, switch to drivers and scroll all the way down. And here you should find the entry SQL Server Native Client 11. It automatically comes with a Phrase Express installation. But if you disabled a SQL Server support, then it will be not there. So you would need to download this free 
driver and install it afterwards. Or you repeat the Phrase Express installation and make sure that you uh, keep the MySQL Server support option enabled. If Phrase Express should not automatically connect to the SQL Server, click on File, click Open, and select Connect to SQL Database. For additional information, please check the documentation.